And then one day I made a real serious mistake about Ross Perot in my column. Um, I was writing about that stupid tax reform idea that they had during the Reagan years where they abolished the progressive income tax and put in the two-tier flat tax rate. And I was talking in my column about why it was a bad idea, and I closed by saying, so you see, if you make more than $17,500 a year, you will now be in exactly the same tax bracket as H. Ross Perot. And then, because my high school English teacher taught me to write balanced sentences, I added, comma, who makes more than a million dollars a year? See, I want to show the disparity between your 17.5 and <laughs> makes more than a million dollars a year. But I made the fatal journalistic error. I did not check. I knew he was by reputation big rich, and I thought it was a safe claim. But I did not check. The next day, the guys uh, disappeared in print, and the guys at our business desk in Dallas called. They're just laughing their asses off. They said, Evans, H. Ross Perot makes a million dollars a day. <laughs> I'm sitting there thinking, boy, this is going to be an embarrassing correction when the phone rang and an operator said, Hey, Charles Perot, calling collect from Molly Ivins, where you <laughs>